Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I'm not breathing no more. As you can see. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, 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 this new crazy mother. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So, I don't want to do a Q&A, but every time I, I get on Instagram and tell them to ask me questions on Instagram, nobody asks me questions. And I'm starting to feel some type of way, because I know y'all knows it. This video will be a Q&A, but it won't be a Q&A from Instagram. I... I text my family and friends and ask them to give me questions that they would ask me if they only knew me on social media. And they gave me some good questions, some questions I know that some people want to know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, of course, the first question was, how did I come up with my son's name? My son's name is Amayas Victor Rue. And of course, his last name came from his dad. His first name is something I came up with. Um, I seen the word Amos. It was A M I A S, and it was pronounced Amos. So I'm like, Amos is cute, but it's weird. It's 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 too weird. So I just took it upon myself, and I'm like, okay, what can I make this? What does it sound like? That's how I came up with Amayus, A apostrophe M Y A U S. The second question is, what is it like living in Atlanta? Um, living in Atlanta is it has its ups and downs because I've been here since I was born, and now it's getting overcrowded. Like traffic, don't like it. Um, the weather is wishy-washy. <laughs> mm, what else? That's about it. The up is is. If you're new here, it's a lot to do. Like I have done almost everything here because I'm gonna say everything because I don't club and stuff like that. But most of the stuff that you do normally when you stay somewhere, I have done. Um. Living in Atlanta is just living in Atlanta. Like, it's nothing special to me. The third question is, how is it being a hairstylist in Atlanta? Is it competitive? Being a hairstylist in Atlanta is very competitive because, like I said, everybody is moving here. So, when I say move, I mean, it's a good thing because it, it really is people out here that don't know how to get their hair done. I mean, don't know how to do nothing to their hair. Like nothing at all, not even put it in a ponytail. So being a hairstylist in Atlanta is is cool, you know. You know, <laughs> but it is very competitive because it's a lot of people wanting to do hair, and yeah. But your clients is your clients, their clients is their clients, and yeah. Plus, a lot of hairstylists they they. I wanna say haters, but you know how you supposed to support each other? They gonna be on it, so yeah. What is some advice that you would give a person that wants to start a YouTube? Um, my main thing is stay consistent. Don't be discouraged because they have more subscribers than you and stuff like that. And be different like a lot of people on youtube is doing the same thing so yeah be different how does it feel to be a new mom i am still getting the hang of being a new mom but it is like i guess it's i don't know how does it feel it It don't compare to any other feeling. That's what I can say. Being a mom is nothing like any other feeling. Like being in love is a whole nother level. Period. Would you go through? How about, 
would you go through pregnancy and giving birth again yes i will and i got this from my mama but it is a very humbling experience how old am i i am two years old as of now but once november here i will be 21 and you're not gonna be able to tell me nothing okay is your booty real <laughs> yes my booty is real even if I did have the money to go get a fake booty, I wouldn't because it's not cute, baby, okay? And I feel like I lost some of my booty when I gave birth to my baby, okay? Are you single? Yes. And we're going to leave it at Do you order online or shop in stores? I see a lot of cute clothes online that I be wanting to get, but I never buy them. So most of my clothes from, are from in stores, but I am about to start shopping online more because like, I just feel like those clothes are very different from everybody else. Like the clothes that I see. What's the best part about being a mom? The best part about being a mom is just the fact that you know that it's a human in this world that's going to love you unconditionally no matter what. Like, it don't matter. They gonna love you, period. So that's like probably the best part about being a mom. Just knowing it. How did I find a passion in here? I honestly don't think hair is my passion. Like, I like doing it. And if I'm not doing it, I'm bored. But if I had the option to do something else that that provide the same amount of money and the same amount of time, then I probably would look into it because it's just a lot of people doing the same thing and I kind of want to be. You know how they say some people have a talent and some people learn it? I kind of think it's like a talent. So, yeah. Um, what are some future travel plans? I do want to go to Bora Bora. That's like one of my um, first things I want to do. I, I, really don't, I really want to go for my birthday, but if I don't go, this I'm going to Bora Bora, period. And I want to go on a cruise either to Bahamas or Mexico. And I want to go to Jamaica. And I want to go somewhere in Asia. Do you like having a big butt? Um, it's pros and cons to having a big butt. The pros is who don't want to have a big butt and it's natural so and the con would be it's too much attention. Like I don't want to be walking and a guy be like dang da, 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 da. but if he ain't got no booty they ain't gonna pay no attention so What were your plans at the high school and did you stick to any? My plans at the high school was to go to college, out of state, and major in um, fashion merchandising. I also got to step to Clark and I was going to major in fashion merchandising. But plans change. I didn't do um, any of my plans that I planned to do at the high school, but this life. So, um, do you see yourself becoming a full-time makeup artist? I can see myself becoming a full-time makeup artist. It's much easier than doing hair. It's quicker, and yeah, I can see that. If I just keep practicing, I can see myself becoming a full-time makeup artist. Where where did you get your hustle from? If anybody know my mama, they know my mama is a hustler, baby. <laughs> she went to school while working, while taking care of five kids. It don't get better than that. Like, that's a hustler. So that's one person I got my hustle from. I say another person I got my hustle from is my auntie because my auntie is a licensed cosmetologist but she's also a business woman so 
Yeah. That's somebody I look up to as well. Mm. Where do you see yourself in the hair business in three years? Um, licensed cosmetology. Uh, I would like to have at least two salons open by that time. I don't want to be doing hair. I want to be having my salons open, having my um my uh workers in there doing their thing, and we going about my business. That's why I see myself. Mm. Is there another fashion you think you're interested in? I am interested in fashion. That's probably fashion and hair. I know I probably like this the basics, is, but the other things I'm into. So, it, like, being, doing anything, doing anything connected to fashion. If y'all ask me to do it for free, I will. And that's how much I am into fashion. So you asked me to style you, you asked me to um, go create a piece, you asked me to do something like that, I'm doing it for free. Even if I have to stay up and watch YouTube videos all day, I will do it. Um, what are your next business plans? I'm not going to say anything, but just know I have some things like plan. I have some things I want to do. So the only thing I can say is be on the lookout. Um, don't want to speak too much, you know. You know, just me, myself, and God. We, we, we thinking of a master plan. But yeah. Um, what's the best way to bring your company or business that you just started? A big thing for me, if anybody asks me. Promote, 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 promote. I think a lot of, um, I think a lot of, of my clients came from word of mouth or me promoted on my Instagram. And even if you if you're not a talkative person, like I don't like to talk to people like that. So business cards, asking people, asking stores to put your business cards in there. Um, Creating a web, oh, another one. Creating a website, and you just get people to put their, you know how they say subscribe, subscribe to my website, and you can just send out like little flyers to emails and stuff. So yeah, promote. This a big one. Promote yourself, and even like even promote other people because if people are like me or like the people I know, promote other people. They gonna promote you back. You know what I'm saying? So, um, lastly, if you could live anywhere from the places you traveled, where and why, it would be between LA and Columbia. But I would choose Columbia first because there's a new place. Like, don't nobody know me. I'm sure don't nobody know me in LA like that. Well. Besides the people that I know in California, don't know I know me in California. So, um, but I still would choose Columbia uh, because it is like first I can learn new language. That's first. Second, don't nobody know me. Third, that hair st doing hair like that thing would be like this. Them folks out there in Columbia got them cheap weaves. I don't see nobody with braids like. I would be popping in Columbia. Those are all the questions. Them, those were, wasn't all the questions, but those are the questions that I thought I could answer or I wanted to answer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any more questions, don't be afraid to ask me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this bucket dog make the shot. Peace.